June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. closet needs cleaning. Everything is just where I put it. I don't know what I'm going to throw away. Everything is good. Here's that old chewed up sneaker you found last summer. It's no good. Don't tell me you're keeping that. I'm throwing it away. Okay, if you really want it. This is yours, too. You brought it home last summer. It's all busted and everything. It's no good. saving that too, are you? I don't know how we can throw things away if we keep keeping them. Now this is a good busted baseball bat. I'm gonna fix it one of these days. Well, we cleaned the closet out, but we haven't thrown anything away, except this. place of your own. play than study, but I can't. And just because of me, you don't have to stay in the house. Why don't you go outside and play? Get some exercise.
How's your studying coming along? All right, I guess. But I wish I was with Daddy instead of having to do homework. Well, your homework's more important. I know. But opening a new aqueduct is important, too. Don't forget, it's going to serve this whole area with water. Well, at least Dad is representing the family at the dedication. Gosh, I wish I could see it when they turn that big valve and all the water rushes down the ditch. <laughs> Well, it won't be long now. Two o'clock. Less than two hours. All that water goes whoosh! Excuse oh, Timmy! I'll clean it up. No, 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 dear. It's all right. I'll do it. Go on, now. You finish your lunch. Don't forget, you promised to study until three o'clock. I did? Yes. And you won't be a free soul until three o'clock. Hello there, lassie. Hello. Hello, Miss Martin. Hi. Hi, Timmy. Maybe help you? Is Paul around? 
Oh, no. He's gone to the opening of the new aqueduct. No. But I'm here. <laughs> you sure are, Timmy. Miss Martin, Sheriff Miller and I are making the rounds, spreading the news. We've got a report that a six-year-old girl is missing. Oh, my. No, we have no idea where she is. We want to make sure that everyone's on the lookout for her. She's a child of some city folks visiting. Now, if you see her, hear anything of her, be sure and call our office. Well, we'd be very glad to help. We sure will. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This whole thing. And what'd you dig it up? Dogs. Hey, that's Mom. And I'm supposed to be studying. Bothering you, Mom? No, dear, nothing. You go on with your studying. Don't you touch that. Jenny, uh, the deputy already gave us a description of the little girl. Well, he wanted me to pass the word along that the little girl was carrying a doll when last seen by her parents. Guess he figures that would be a clue if anybody finds it. Oh, well, I pray they find her safe and well. All right, Jenny, goodbye. just one continuous game. <laughs> but I've got work to do. Go on now, get down. seen it before? Uh-huh. Lassie was playing with it today. Do you know where she found it? No, Mom. She's got so many toys and junk. Well, have you ever seen her with this particular doll before today? No, I don't think so. Why? Oh, Timmy, I have the dreadful feeling that this doll belongs to that little girl that's missing. You do? 
Massey must have found it somewhere. And wherever she found it might be a clue to that little girl's whereabouts. Hey, maybe you're right. And then all we have to do is get Lassie to take us to the spot where she found the doll. Well, let's try it. Lassie, where did you find it? Mom, you can't ask her questions, because the only way she'll answer you is by barking back. Well, here, then you try. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Here, Lassie, take the dog. Take the doll back where you found it, girl. Take the doll back. Come on, Lassie, please, Lassie. Go on, take the doll back. Come on. Oh, please, Lassie. Take the doll back. Now go. Take it back. Oh, please, let this be it. Come on, Mom. with you anytime you like. After all, you've earned the privilege. That doll is your medal of honor. 